Two thirds of its citizens live in subsidised social housing. But in the UK, less than one in ten live in a council house. And not. You're sitting on a pretty high horse, and I envy you for having a job that fulfills you and makes a lot of money. I'm glad you support unfortunate people while I'm drunk and feel sad for myself. Jesus Christ, dude. I can't even say that's a self report because you're literally reporting on yourself. At least that's more honest than like 90% of the people that come in here and try to couch their desires or envy in a, in a like moralistic position that revolves around a false understanding of ideology. Sorry to hear that though, chatter. I hope you, uh, you know, feel better. Not only that, the quality and style is simply out of this world. So is this what you think of when you think of council housing? This is Alt Erla, a social housing estate on the outskirts of Vienna. It may look like tough, brutalist architecture, but actually it's humane, caring design of the highest order. Oh, wow. Look at that. They've even got an indoor swimming pool as well. They have nurseries, schools, and tennis courts all conveniently on site. Dude, public housing with indoor tennis courts, dude. That's disgusting. You know what? Everybody talks about income inequality. How about we start talking about the inequality between, like, governments that have offered basic amenities to their citizens unconditionally and governments that don't do that and frown upon that kind of behavior like America. Nobody's talking about the, the disparity of, of government amenities between America and fucking Austria, dude. I can't quite believe this. This is about long-term thinking, allowing people to put down roots, giving them stability. I mean, just imagine if I proposed a high-density council housing estate with loads of swimming pools, indoor and outdoor, clubs, Play spaces. I'd be left out of town because everybody would say you couldn't do that. With 10,000 residents, Alt Erla. Of course, these are on the outskirts, right? But they also have public transportation so they can easily, you know, without even spending uh, an arm and a leg, go to their uh, place of work if it's in the city. Has the highest density living in Vienna. But you'd never guess that from the peaceful atmosphere. Monica. Hi. Hi, so nice to see you. Monica pays the equivalent of 600 pounds a month. Look at that. That person is 100% a crusty anarchist in any other fucking uh, organization. This person literally is like, th this is, <laughs> this is 100% a crusty anarchist that is like screaming at me uh, uh, about fucking mutual aid on Twitter in any other circumstance. We need to put the crusties in uh, housing. That's what we need to do. Nice to see you. Monica pays the equivalent of 600 pounds a month rent for her flat. Back in Harlow, temporary accommodation can give you a quarter of the size for almost the same rent. And with the Viennese having such secure tenancies, there's little temptation to buy. So Monica has no stress of being moved on, which is handy, as her dad, Heinz, lives in the block next door. How long have you lived here? 40 years. 40 years? 40 years. Amazing. 40 years. Yes, yes. Why is this place so special? Because we have everything here, everything we need. We have 15 uh, physicians, doctors. We have all the, all the shops. Groceries, truck stores. For schools. Yeah, yeah. For schools. And you so have yeah, your own everything. TV channel. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So That's if fantastic. there is any pottery classes tonight, we send it and we inform the people. Okay. It's not Okay, I totally see the fucking envy thing. I'm literally mad that they're living in in such good circumstances for so cheap because the government has actually done what the government is supposed to do. I'm actually mad. Like this is fucking bullshit. I say this as someone who literally has a house now. And, and it's fucking bullshit, okay? No, nah, fuck it, dude. No, I want them to not be in a good situation. Sorry to the three people watching me from Vienna. I, it's fucked up, okay? It, you, 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 see so many, you see so many people fucking suffering here in America. Like, so 
so many people fucking suffering here in America. There's just like so much. There's such dire circumstances. Now I understand why Americans uh, stay ignorant about the realities of the world, okay? Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. It's, it's so much better when you don't think about these things. Like, what can a better future uh, that is possible? It's pottery class. That's so cool. It feels to me like it's, a, it's an amazing hotel. It is. A yeah. five-star hotel. The swimming pool is always clean. It's always ready to use. The sauna is always ready to use. I would live here in a second, in a heartbeat. In Britain, we have a kind of negative... California's local economy doesn't reflect the rest of the U.S., dude. 600 pounds per month is not cheap. Dude, what planet are you living on, dude? It's an incredibly dense urban environment that you get to fucking live in. And there's like actual living space. 600 pounds for that in any city, let alone a city like Vienna, where you have your own fucking sauna? Are you stupid? You know how much I fucking pay for rent right now in the fucking house that I'm in, dude? She lives in a better fucking apartment than the one I live in currently. And she pays 600 pounds, like 850 USD with all the amenities. I live in a fucking two bedroom with no amenities. Okay, with the, uh, well, the ultimate exception to that rule, of course, is that I have a washer dryer in unit, which is literally the lap of luxury for Los Angeles. You want to know how much I fucking pay for it, dude? $3,100 a month. Shut the fuck up. stigma around council housing government housing do you have that here uh, the worst stigma that occurs we don't even have that kind of fucking stigma here in america because like we don't even know section 8 housing is like not even a fucking availability for most people but the worst stigma is the top of the hour ad break that comes after half an hour because unfortunately i ran one too late and i have to run the next one now What is the difference if I own this this flat or if I rent this yeah. flat? Tell it to me. What is the difference? Why should I buy this flat? Why? The difference in the UK is that people don't feel stable. They feel like they could get moved on and moved on and moved on by landlords. Do you feel like you have stability here? Renting? Yeah. Absolutely. If the political system, if they disturb this kind of stability, they wouldn't be the leader of this country anymore. Yeah. That's the difference. Just like us, Vienna started building social housing a hundred years ago. But unlike the UK, it never stopped. Austria has a higher rate of tax than the UK, but its social care is... How, how, it took a long time, huh? It took a long time. We're here though, ready to party. Hi everybody. Hello. Okay, so I'm a girl at Hassan's house. Don't I do the tier list now? God damn. Yeah. And then you have them rape my boyfriend. I'm just supposed to sit there while you sit there and watch them rape my boyfriend. You think that's cool? Is that cool, Hassan? Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're actually. Well, this is the this is the Hasanabi package uh, where you have to watch a Joe Rogan experience video. Okay, great. As you sit through it. And then after that, you rate all the boys on no, Twitch. No, I'm not rating the boys on Twitch. Yeah. Okay, well, let's finish this video first, and then... It's okay. one of the best in the world. Perfect. <laughs> there you go. That was easy. <laughs> that, that was easy. <laughs> you, had, you had QD on like three times a month. You were sh okay, dude. It's a fucking... Okay. 11-month subscriber, permanently banned. Good job. So crazy. Didn't you hear about the, the guy who sent Ludwig an essay about how Will and I... Have a thing? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember. We did the ban appeals, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, folks. Cutie Cinderella's here. I'm here. And, uh, you know, in an effort to destroy, uh, you know, gendered expectations, mm -hmm. she's going to help me uh, uh, with uh, home design. <laughs> yeah. Which is, of course... Look at me. <laughs> which is, of course, very different yes. than what... Very masculine yeah. job that yeah. I used to have. 
I want to see the fan fiction where Hasanabi and Will have a thing. You mean everyone, dude? Like, everyone has done that already. You know what's funny, though, is Lud, Lud said to me, I said, Lud, I'm going to Hassan's house tomorrow. Do you want to come? Because I just, I invite him to everything. And he's like, no. But, like, Hassan's house is really hot, so wear the least amount of clothes as possible. And I said, what the fuck? Isn't that the weirdest advice from a boyfriend in the world? It is really weird. <laughs> I was like, why I don't, did he say that? It's I don't not know that why hot. he said that. Maybe he's just trying to boost my career. He knew if I, like... You know. It's not even that hot. He's just ridiculous. I don't think it's hot. I think it's fine. Thank I, you. He's also never been here while you were streaming. That's true. So he's he's I don't only know been where here he got at that. night. Um, okay. Well, here's the deal. This is where we're going to start. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Okay. So, for anyone who doesn't know, my name's Q Cinderella. I used to be an interior designer. Um, do not DM me for design tips on your house. I don't want to design your house. I'm not interested. Do not do that. Unless I will not you have reply. 34,000 concurrent live viewers. Then I'll do case, it. Yeah. In which case you will do it. I do. I will do it. You have to be I have to know I have to know who you are and then I'll do it. Um, but this is what what is this? I fucked your mom? Yeah, what you who did did someone make you that? Yeah. Everything you see in this house is things that people have sent me over the course of many years now. 